Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. I'm here with Lisa Mason from Chestnut Medical Clinic over there at Munro Regional Hospital. We're talking all about family medicine and paediatrics. Welcome to the show, Thank my friend. You. Thank so you. So nice Thank to you. meet you, you finally. Too. You too. Okay, let's talk a little bit about your clinic. Okay. When did it open and what it is at all that you do there? Well, actually, I have been there for three years. Yeah. I've been in Aberdeen for 10, um, and I have been with Munro Regional in the last three years. I see um, pa pediatric patients from infants all the way up to the geriatric patients. Yes. Probably about 70% 70 pe 70 pediatrics. So I really do pride myself and my, myself and my staff in taking care of the kids. We're one of the few in the Munro County area that will actually see children under the age of two. Okay. Why do you, why is, do you think your clinic has skewed that way? Why has the clinic itself skewed that yeah. way? Probably because there is no one else in that particular area that will see the, the peds under a certain age. And I have a um, large pediatric background. I was about eight years strict peds before I went back to family practice. Oh, really? So I've, I've, some of the patients that I have in the Monroe County area have come, followed me from Lowndes and from um, Clay County as well. Wonderful, wonderful. So let's go back into your background, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about how did you get into this business and tell me a little bit about your training. Well, um, I actually got into medicine, if you want me to go, go, that, go, go, that, far, go that far. I got into medicine. <laughs> um, I grew up in, uh, in Jackson, Mississippi. My next door neighbor, who was like a second dad, um, was a um, director of an emergency room in Jackson. Mm. Became a Navy SEAL physician as well. So I've, he uh, got me very interested in medicine. Okay. So I, I think I, I attribute my love for medicine to him. I understand. All right, let's talk a little bit of how long it takes for someone out there who wants to become a nurse or a registered nurse or someone getting into the medical field. What's your one bit of advice that you would give to anyone before they enroll in the school or college? Go and actually get some hands-on experience, whether you volunteer, whether you um, visit nursing homes. You need yeah. to be able to be exposed to everything that's involved. I've seen a lot of these nursing students now, they'll come in and they'll think, oh, I'm going to go do this nursing, and then they walk into the hospital setting and they're like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this. The pressure's high, isn't it's it? It's very high. Um, how big's your team? I actually have three, yeah. myself included. I have my nurse, Christy Carter, and then I have my office manager, Lisa Jaton. Um, how important and crucial are they to part of your, oh, good your gracious. success? They are, they are what, to, they, they make the practice. I mean, yeah. you know, you're only as good as the, the, the people that work with you. So there is absolutely no way that I could do anything that I do without those two. Now, they I, keep me straight. Oh, do they? On the straight and narrow. <laughs> uh, they, try. they try. They <laughs> try. <laughs> Let's they talk try. a little bit about your insurance policies and things like that. Do you take all insurance? We do. Um, for the most part, we do. Um, Medicare, Medicaid. Um, all most commercial insurances. Now, one of the things that we do um, in particular that some of the surrounding facilities don't um, at this point is take Humana. We do take Humana. So right. we have a lot of patients that are starting to come to us, new patients in particular, because they're finding that a lot of their, their providers at this point or facilities that they're using are no longer taking Humana. But right. we are still one of those facilities that does that. Okay, well, that's super important to know, everyone. Humana Absolutely. is still taking it. Very quickly, 20 seconds. Why do you love this gig so much? I love the people. I love knowing that if, when I get through with them in that, that, that room or whatever we're doing, those kids hug you, the, the patients hug you. It's just the, it's just the whole realm of the, the, the person to person connection. I, I just love knowing that you know you can have that feel from the patients. They love you as much as you love them. Well, Lisa, and I get more from them, I think, than they get from me. So. I love you and I've only been here four and well, a half thank minutes. You. <laughs> So the minute I need something done, I'm over at your clinic. Well, you guys come right on, sugar. We'll take care of you. I appreciate that. If you want to find out more about Lisa her, and her incredible staff, there it all is up on the screen for you. Chestnut Medical Clinic over there at Munro Regional Hospital. Of course, they specialise in family medicine and paediatrics. Back after this short break, everyone.